Hey, uh, what? Why aren't you changing me? Uh, look here, boss. Uh, I don't make the rules here, but apparently you got kicked. What? What are you talking about? I just did a perfect lap right now. No, I'm sorry. You're getting replaced. By who? <coughs> oh, who are you? Well, if you want to know, I am the superior next ship. I'm going to be taking over now, okay? If you have a problem with that, you can try and beat me in a drag race. No, 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 no. I'm good, I'm good, but just... Oh, man, now where I'm gonna go? You can race for other teams, you know. All the other teams want next gens! Ugh. Yeah, because we're faster. Oh! An ambulance for that burn. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Whatever. It's Little Heart Gear, and thank you for tuning in to my... Um, review of uh, Steve Slick LePage, which is the next gen trunk fresh racer. He appears in the next gen four pack. Here he is in all of his glory, and I'm really excited to, to show him. And also, I did get the um, the trunk fresh fat pity for Christmas, so I might as well also go over that um, a little bit. Not that, not that much because the review is mainly about the trunk fresh racer. So today I'll be comparing him to the trunk fresh thought car. And yeah, let's just get into the review. So where did this guy appear? Well, I'll start off with, let's say, having him appear in the Florida 500. Since most of the next, most of the next gens were appeared there. I see all the next gens mainly appeared there. While during the race with McQueen's crash, only there were some um, next gens. I believe this guy appeared when McQueen was about to meet Danny Suarez in the background with um, some pities. I'm not sure about that. However, he did definitely appear in the Florida 500. Cruz was passing by him, and you got to see a good shot of all the racers. It was pretty amazing. He has Tim Treadless style wheels with just a black rim and black tires. Light your logo right there, or light your text right there, as you can see. Um, he does have a, um, the same, I believe, mouth expression as Danny Suarez. However, his, his eye expression is different. Over here, you can see the hood says trunk fresh, and this whole thing is metallic. Let me grab another car who also has metallic finish to them like let's say chase race a lot yes i know that the chip on there kind of sucks but i may just get a replacement soon, sooner or later so let me just put that right back there over here you can see there's trunk fresh and the thing that kind of sucks about this team trunk fresh and also in intersection i already talked about it before um their teams they're they what's it called their teams could, um they don't they don't they only have their cars to an exclusive pack which kind of stinks and it really um, sucks that we have to get all, an exclusive pack just to get these two cars, these two sponsors. I mean, I get Trunk Fresh, we at least have the stock car from Cars 1, but flipped over we don't have at all. And the, in, the intersection team basically we don't have. So then the, you can check out the hood right here. I'm not sure if this is a big chip or not. I did not do anything to it. This is how it came in the package, so I had to just deal with it. Either I can just paint it over, but I think this is how it's supposed to be. Also, little chips right there. I think that's not how it's supposed to be, but though, which kind of stinks. But yeah, that was that was how it was when it was in the package. So it was either I take the next gen four pack now or leave for someone else. So definitely was gonna take it. Um, let's take the side. So on the side here, we can see that um, there are the sponsors right there. You can't really see it because of the metallic, but it says Piston Cup. I believe that is Combustor. Let me see. Yep, that's Combustor. The side there's carbon fiber. And then there's synergy. Continue on the other side. However, the the sides are actually different. Look, check, pay attention to this back part. Over here is um all like a dark green. While over here, it's actually trunk fresh and all the stuff right there. Um, here's a little arrow to lift it up. I'm really happy that they made the paint metallic. Looks really nice. Number 34, number 34 up there. I really sucks that I have this chip right here though. I mean, it came in the package like that, so I can't really do anything about it. Um. Here, as you can see, there's the shriek. It goes from here, from the hood, all the way back. Around the window, actually, which is pretty nice. And then it goes all the way to the back. The back, but basically, also, here's the more of the um, metallic paint right there. 34, trunk fresh. The headlights are really nicely detailed. I don't know what this thing in the back here is, but there's the rookie stripes as well. Um, I believe this is uh, the same as Flip Dover's spoiler, 
which kind of stinks, but you know what? They're both the same model, both the same, from the same um, Danny Sorbus model, so I can't really complain about that. Now let's compare these two, um, let's compare this to the, um, Dirkson D. Agostino, which was the trunk crash racer for Cars 3. So, Dirkson D. Agostino actually came from, what's it called? He came from Cars 1 and made it, made it, made it over to Cars 3. So here's his updated model. I do not have the Cars 1 model. But as you can see, Dirkson D. Agostino is way, way more detailed than Steve here. As you can see, he has gray rims while, um, Steve here has black rims. He has a bunch of flower decals right here. Very nice 34. Mainly the only thing that the Trunk Fresh Racer has is the metallic um, shine on it, which kind of stinks. I don't. This is probably one of my least favorite from the four pack because it was it bland design. There's not really anything to the side, the right side. While this thing has both sides um, covered with flowers and everything, the back also too. Look at this. Look at that major difference in design. At, and then the top even. Big number 34, and then the back also has like trunk fresh and then some flowers on there. While this is just slick and more modernized, here's a bunch of nice, nice detail with trunk fresh with the font and colors. Here, all the, all the flowers and everything, and light your tires. Um, pretty nice, and then the front's also just sort of dark, um, black. While this is just a dark green, and actually, the eyelids changed. This used to be um gray eyelids, but now this is. Um, Steve has dark green eyelids, and for just for the heck of it, might as well just see, look, take a look at the trunk fresh pity. This is the one from Cars One. It's just one pity by itself. Um, so mainly it would just go here, take out the tire, put put a new set of tires here, which is actually right here. It's matched the the old Dirksen Diagostina, which had yellow rims instead of the gray rims that we have right here. However, it's pretty pretty uh, accurate to the to the actual one. Same size as the actual one. However, here it's kind of a little big, but it still fits. But different model though. And then here is the um, little cabinet where they still they still steal. Ugh, can't talk today. <laughs> um, where they uh, put away all their tools. And that's basically it. And then this guy just has this is the trunk fresh. It has trunk fresh logos on the sides. Colors like a limeish green. It's uh, a wide fat pity, I guess you can call it. And it has a really nice expression on it. But that's basically it for Steve Slick's LePage. Let me know in the comments um, if you like his design. Let me know um, what are your thoughts on the Trunk Fresh team right now. Honestly, I really like it and I love that it's in the front of my display. Anyways, thank you for watching. And this is Little Harky saying peace.